eight or 24. Number eight. 24 was more challenging. It's Monday, so that means three things. One, I'm not the MCM. Two, it's a Mamba Monday. And three, it's time for the 24 podcast. How you guys doing? I'm your host, the product of Poverty's Environment, the Poe Chuck Paul. Episode 143, Grammys. Hope you guys enjoyed your week. I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. Um, if you haven't already, it's your first time watching, please hit the subscribe button below. And um, yeah, we gonna get right into it. Yesterday was the um, Recording Academy, the Grammy Awards, whatever you guys want to call it. Normally I don't watch it, but it was a Sunday. There was no football on. Uh, majority of the NBA games were, were played already. And wrestling just went off. So I said, fuck it, let me put it on. Um, and then I was going through my tweets and I seen that the, the Grammys had posted a few of the winners early. I don't know if they ever did that before. They have posted a congrats best R&B song winner, SZA for the song Snooze. She also won two other awards. Let me, I got them here somewhere in my, in my notes. She won three awards altogether. Uh, best pop duo group performance, best progressive R&B album, and best R&B song like I just mentioned um, for Snooze. Um, Dave Chappelle also took home his fourth best comedy award. But one crazy thing that happened that night, uh, the Academy tweeted out, congrats for best rap song winners, Barbie World, from the Barbie album Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice, featuring Aqua. When re in reality, the real winner was Killer Mike. Are they still playing playing games? What are they still playing in her face? Look, I, I haven't really kept up with the history of the beef between Nikki and the Grammys, but it seems on a personal like like who's running their Twitter account to do some dumb shit like that? You know what I'm saying? Um, Killer Mike went on to win three Grammys all together that night uh, for best rap song and performance for Scientists and Engineers featuring Andre 3000, Future, Aaron Allen Kane, and best rap album for his album for his album Michael. Beating Drake and 21 Savages, Her Loss, Metro Boomer, Heroes and Villains, Nas, King Disease 3, and Travis Scott's Utopia. Only album I didn't give no run um, was Travis Scott Utopia. I don't even know if I remembered it coming out. You know, but I listened to pretty much all the albums and whatnot. My barber actually um, put me on the Killer Mike. I was like, I didn't know it came out, but that shit was fire. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cats is upset that Killer Mike won, but y'all y'all must have forgot. Uh, y'all be thinking like he's just some political dude. Uh, uh must be two sides. Y'all forgot when he when he was rapping rapping with Shorty Low on those on those trap beats back in the day. You know what I'm saying? When he was on motherfucking um um with Big Boy and him on that on that on that Purple album Kryptonite. Y'all forget about that. Mike been spitting, and plus he won one um best rap group with um with LP for for their group um. RT, RTJ, run the jewels. So, stop acting brand new, y'all. Stop acting brand new. But right after he picked up his third Grammy award, he allegedly got into an altercation backstage, and I'm not gonna say arrested because he wasn't taken to jail, but he was detained by security. I don't know what the hell happened, but it made me think: How come that shit didn't happen to Will Smith after he went and hit somebody on camera, sat back down, got to finish the whole damn show, get an award, sit back down, wasn't detained by security or nobody? But Killer Mike was. Eh. Whatever, man. But shout out to SZA, shout out to Dave Chappelle, and shout out to Killer Mike. Um. Also. 
the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. I didn't even know he had his own award. Um, yeah, um, was won by Jay Z, and I'm gonna play his speech real quick, and well, some of his speech, and I'm gonna let you guys. Uh, well, I'm, you guys are gonna watch, but after the video, whatever, you guys can comment and leave your opinions. But here it is. How far we've come with uh, Will Smith and them, Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince winning their first Grammy in 89 and boycotting because it wasn't televised. And then they went to like a hotel and watched the Grammys. I didn't even understand what the... It wasn't a great boycott. Um, <laughs> we're here. But then, 98, I took a page out of their book I was nominated for the best rap album, and DMX had dropped two albums that year. They both were number one. Shout out to DMX. And he wasn't nominated at all. So I boycotted, and I watched the Grammys. <laughs> I'm just saying, we just, we want y'all to get it right. We love y'all, we love y'all, we love y'all. We want y'all to get it right, at least get it close to right. And obviously it's subjective. Y'all don't gotta clap at everything. Obviously it's sub Obviously, it's subjective because, you know, it's music and it's opinion-based, but, you know, some things, you know, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work, you know. Yeah, Taylor Swift won album of the year. Congrats to her. Um, nigg yo, niggas really be hated on Taylor Swift. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, uh, Jade had a three and a half minute speech. He had his little rants about Beyonce having the most Grammys but never winning um, album of the year. She has won 32 Grammys, nominated 88 times. But my thing is this, maybe she just drops a lot of hot singles and the whole body of work isn't hitting the way it should be. I mean, that's possible, right? Sometimes motherfuckers have a couple nice songs, but the album ain't what it should be. How come it's men lie, women lie, numbers don't? But when it comes to Beyonce, that don't matter. It, it, she, has, she has to win. I mean, LeBron James is, uh, has, has the most points scored in the history of the NBA. Doesn't make him the best scorer, right? I mean, he's never won a, uh, never led the league in scoring. I mean, damn. Sorry. It's crazy because, uh, you know, Kanye, you know, he had got flack when he, uh, you know, bum rushed the stage and, and whatnot. I'm going to play that real quick. Music, so thank you so much for giving me a chance to win a VMA award. I Yo, Taylor, I, I'm really happy for you. I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. I mean, what's the difference? Jay-Z did it more, more, more politely? Like, God damn. She can't win everything, people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The fuck? <laughs> But yeah, man, uh, the Grammys was last night. Uh, I didn't, I think I, the most I caught was the Jay-Z speech or whatever. Um, I caught a scissor performance. I forgot who else. But yeah, it's not really my thing, you know, but it's whatever. Oh, and it's funny because when I brought up the whole what's hip hop, most deaf thing and shit, I would post this picture of him in a, in a kente skirt, whatever, a long kente skirt. But I was like, nah, that's doing too much. I'm not that kind of guy just trying to seem like I'm trying to throw shots at somebody. 
And then he had posted this picture of himself on uh, Instagram. Okay. And then, you know, people, ah, oh, people are such idiots. Oh, he must have angered the powers that be, the Jews, this, that, and the fourth. Um, no, that's part of his religion. He's Muslim. First, then someone, I, I commented on somebody's post, like, that has nothing to do with being a Muslim. Then someone replied back, you must live in a small county or don't be around the gods enough. I said, listen, I live in Philly. I'm around a lot of Muslims. None of them wear designer mini skirts. They wear long frobes that you put on and they wear jeans underneath. They're not wearing leather pants and fucking bitch boots. You know what I'm saying? This is from a line called Marnie, one of those European brands who be dressing everybody all metrosexual and shit. You know, a lot of black, black folks, they go over to, to LA, then they go over to Europe, Paris, France, and whatnot. And then all of, all of a sudden, they, 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 they lose their sexuality. <laughs> but I mean, you know what, though? Maybe this always has been him, because I mean, you guys watched the Boondocks before. Maybe he's really gangstalicious. Maybe that's his real alter ego. So I want to play a couple scenes from um, the boondocks. Here we go. Now, don't, don't take that literally, folks. Just killing them in the streets. Homies over hoes. And now I'm telling you, the clothing line's jumping off. This thing is, what? What do you say, Gelman? Off the hook? Tell us about that. Well, you know, Reeves, we just had to bring, you know, our own flavor to the fashion game. You know, fashion is a real big thing to me and my crew, you know what I'm saying? Personal grooming, hygiene, facial, shiatsu, seaweed wraps, you know, that type of thing. And we're not doing it for the females, you know what I'm saying? We're doing it just for us, you know, that's real thing. Dun, 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 dun. All right, now, we got some models. Check it over here with some of your new gear. Now, the vest isn't actually bulletproof, correct? No, not really, but it's a hot style, and pink is definitely the in color for the season. And here we have the Gangsta Licious Super Long Team. Oh, that's long, baby, but that's the style, right? Oh, why is the backside cut out? I knew you were going to ask that, and I like your attention to detail, Kel. I tell you why. That way, you don't have to waste time lifting up your T-shirt. You can get to your toast real fast, you know what I'm saying? Get the drop on a nigga. Not that we want the kids to carry guns or nothing like that, because we always tell the kids that that ain't the way. Matter of fact, I had a song called Kids, That Ain't The Way. But if you got to pull a burner out on a nigga, this t-shirt could give you the half a second or more that may save your life. Now this here is just amazing. Pearl necklaces. I didn't know men wore pearls. Oh yes, definitely, definitely, Kelly. You know, we just want cats out there in the street, you know, to step their jewelry game up. It's all about pearl necklaces. Wow, pearl necklaces. Well, I don't know if I could wear one, but fascinating. <laughs> but wait. How about this one here? This, this is what sums it up. This, this is what I, I would say, see someone saying, trying, trying to like defend most Def's own fashion style. Uh, wait, what the hell are you wearing? Is that a bra? What? It's just a white beater. Wear your pants. Why are you wearing a skirt? <laughs> no, granddad. These are gang's delicious shorts for thugs. See, they got an extra flap with a pocket. So you, you know, you, you hide what you want to hide from the police. Kind of hot, right? You want me to see if he got your side? But you came in the purse. What? Come on, granddad. This ain't no purse. It's a gangsta delicious man bag. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Uh. <laughs> no. That's yo. All of this shit is coming to life now. You got dudes wearing these bags, these purses and whatnot. Their clutches and shit. Their skirts. Their their, their shorts for thugs. You know what I'm saying? Nah, dog. I seen folks saying shit like, oh, y'all didn't have this energy for Andre 3000 and Kanye. I definitely did. Folks saying it's a kilt. No, it's a kilt if you're Irish. If you're a regular straight black man, you're cross-dressing. I'm sorry. You just like to wear dresses and skirts. I'm sorry, bro. So, yeah. Uh, I just found that funny, like the whole... People trying to answer it for him. He even turned his, his, his comments off. That has nothing to do with being Muslim. He just has on a skirt with some leather pants underneath. And some bitch boots. 
Maybe Mo's Def is the real Gangster Licious. Maybe, you know. Um, before I let go, the shop is opening back up this weekend. I'm dropping a new tea. Um, pretty much it's for All-Star Weekend. It is the new load management tea. You see it, I got it in white and black. Uh, the letters have like a mesh jersey detail in it. Um, those will be in the shop this Friday through the end of the month. So make sure you guys go and grab one of those. The tees are 40, the long sleeves are 50. Um, also, this Friday, the power finale, I will do a full recap. We'll talk about the whole season. And we will recap the Super Bowl because that is on Sunday. We got the Chiefs against the Niners. It should be a good one. I was going to add a Valentine's Day gift guide for the ladies for some sneakers that, that are dropping next week. But I'll do that next Monday because I know y'all forget shit when it got nothing to do with y'all. So I'll do it Monday because the shoes drop on Wednesday, Valentine's Day. Um, like I always say, like, share, subscribe, comment. God is good. God is great. Thank God my paper straight. I am the Pope Chuck Paul. Peace out.